Hello, welcome back to Binding Rise of Rebirth. Today, we shall play as... Where is he? Judas. I like Judas. Oh my god, Curse of Darkness. I'm just gonna... Gonna bump up the gamma a little bit. Simply just because it's easier to watch if I just bump it up a little bit. Now we can actually see what's going on. I can't go in that curse room. What is this? Prayer card. Reusable Eternity. I think I'll take the Book of Belial with me, and then use the prayer card when I'm going to leave the room, or the level. This Book of Belial is good. It's kind of like Judas' redeeming factor, but it's nice to have the one extra HP. So we already have four cents. I think we start with three. Remember there was some biblical reason. Oh my god. One of the zombies was smart enough to like go around. hate that. This is the part where we're actually kind of in danger. Because if I take one damage, I will die. Oof. Come on. Don't you kill me? You little head? Or little body? Any tinted rocks? Alright, no. So I, think I don't think I'm ever getting into that curse room. And, I know, I seem, I can be kind of bad with dodging with these guys. I don't want to kill the fires just yet. Just because I need to be able to see as much as I possibly can. Turning the camera on up has been really just nice, though. I know it's a little bit cheaty, but it's better for views. Or for viewing. It's, it's a lot easier to watch. And it's easier to play, which kind of defeats the purpose a little bit, but, you know. Okay, so I have two more hits I can take. I don't want to take it on these, though. They need this tinted rock. I need to get, like, get close to my light and see it. I don't think so. Alright, these tinted rocks. Nope, we'll have to just go in here. Oh, these guys. It's Gemini 2. It's weird, there's like three versions of the Gemini boss fight. I never really understand these goods. <laughs> I understood these guys, though. These are Steven. You get little Steven from beating them. The little baby one, like, disconnected so early, though. The big one didn't even die. It's kind of just a harder version of Gemini because they split up earlier. I got Golden God, why would I... I thought I'd beat every boss in the game. Maybe I got every ending and that was what it's supposed to be? Alright. So... I think I'll blow this up for that chest. Maybe I won't even get that chest. Yeah, I messed that up. Oh well, we'll go back and get the prayer card at least. Then we'll just give us one eternal heart. Now, I don't think I want the HP. Because Judas does need a lot of HP to trade stuff for deals with the devil, but on the flip side, uh, deals with the devil only are guaranteed while I'm holding Book of Belial. So, I kind of need to keep my Book of Belial if I want to keep up the deals with the devil. There was a spirit, uh, there was a tinted rock there that I just noticed. I walked right by it earlier. Probably looked directly at it. Didn't think it was a tinted rock. Thank you, Curse of Darkness. At least I got tears up. Well, Stevens. Oh, he's okay. I do not have a key, though. And that's just the heart. Okay. I always like this room. It's, it's like the flies don't try to hurt you until they get down to one fly. A lot of flies. <laughs> so we need to get in this little curve. That's not fun. Why oh, is these ass guys again? A lot of spinning flies. Oh, this is the sea, by the way. If you wanted to see that. Whew. I almost got hit there. Alright. I just gotta get rid of this red fly, and it's a lot e and it'll be a lot easier. There we go. Got the key? Let's go to the item room first. Whew. There we go. We just need to not get hit on the way back out. 
and then fight the boss without any real problems. Just kind of hoping it's not the haunt, to be honest. Every other boss I have, like, kind of, I feel okay against. We'll go to the boss room first, and then maybe we'll check out other stuff. It's a shame I didn't have more keys. I could have gone to the the possible greed fight behind the store. What is what it is? Monstro. It's an okay boss. This relies on me, like, being slightly competent. And then I can win. Look at Lyle, those increase your damage by a lot, though. It's very nice. It's kind of why Judas is so, uh, fun to play. Not only his, he has the one health, which makes him, like, pretty difficult, because you can only take two hits at the start of the game. But, coming with Book of Lyle. Squeezy. And a deal with the devil. We'll see what's here. Sister Maggie? I don't think so. I won't take that. She's, Sister Maggie's like, she's like okay if you get her as a free item. I mean, she's like, it's like, alright, that's, that's kind of cool, but I won't trade one heart for her. If I get Angel Room items instead, I'll be fine with that. Oh, Wrath is exactly who I wanted to fight. Just shoot his bombs back at him. That's why I think Wrath is like such an easy boss. So you can just kind of shoot his bombs back at him and there's nothing much he can do about it. He kind of just walks away into the bombs. Now this is a tinted rock. Double keys. Now we can go to the possible greed fight. Hmm. Book of Shadows. Temporary Invincibility. I don't even have a cursed room. I'll just, took, I'll just take Book of Belial. And that means the shop is this. Unless this is actually a greed fight. Uh, we'll go in. 48 hour energy. Great. At least we know it's here. A little bit wasteful. And I don't even... Actually, no. It was really wasteful because I didn't keep my key for the item room next time. So I had a guarantee of getting that and I just wasted it for some reason. Uh, I'm not taking Sister Maggie. Sorry, Satan. We'll go in here. Three spi these spiders ones. Well, this can't actually give stuff at the end. This is one of the worst ones. Well, Steven's home and Tears doing okay. One key. I almost think that it was worth it to get the item room. I feel like none of the others presented themselves. I guess the key just presented itself there, so... Oh yeah, totally. I don't know if that was really worth the one spirit heart, but we'll see later. We may not be able to, always, to be able to trade a bomb, one bomb for one key reliably. All right, I just need you to shoot at me one time. There we go. Thank you. Thanks for the free thing. I like a room like that where it's just like if you perform well, you get extra rewards. Get two more bombs. I think I'll use Book of Belial here. This room is just so big, and I'll see a lot of other rooms before I I get to the boss. Tears Up is really nice for uh, Judas, though, because you get Book of Belial, which is a flat damage increase. Mom's Knife? For free? Okay. This is getting good. So I believe Judas has killed Isaac, and that's it. So, we'll try to get Judas a few more. Like, we'll try to go to, probably down to the Dark Room for Judas, if we can. If it's possible. Although Mom's Knife, Book of Belial, pretty cool combo. It's already got ridiculous damage on Mom's Knife and then just adding more damage on. Seems like a good idea. Peep. We'll just go behind this wall so he can't hit us. And there he goes. He's dead. And got the guaranteed deal with the devil. Drop all the boxes stuff over here. We don't have a trinket, so we'll take it. Range down. Eh, it's not so used. It's not so bad. Star's card takes me to the item room. Guppy's tail. I mean, I don't think I really want that entirely. I'm sure there's like the chance to become Guppy and I'll hate myself if I don't, but I'm already low on keys, and I don't need more golden chests to spawn for no reason. I'll play you a little bit, because I have extra hearts on the floor. Oh, he's a tricky, tricky guy. I don't need to go in there. 
probably just uh kind of skip the extra exploring and go to the boss room or the boss rush if we can. Okay. Well, that happened. Did they get an extra key, though? That's very nice to have. An extra spirit heart? I believe that would be worth it. Nothing else we really need to pick up. I would like to get a fight with Greed, though. Maybe I'll throw in one key over here, just at the chance. Ah, it's just an item room again. Hmm. Well, nothing more buying here. Oh, that was a waste of a key. Oh, well. I wish I could get that big key. Come on. Okay, good thing I didn't blow up my machine to buy I found pills. So I was considering it. Like, maybe that pill will be a good one. We'll go down. Alright, we got ten minutes for halfway through. Need to speed it up a little bit. Now that I got, now that I got Mom's knife, though, it's going to speed up quite a bit. Oop. There we go. I should start going through this room as fast as possible. Alright, so we don't we can't actually see our health, and I just took damage there for some reason because it's like creep or something. Okay. So the plan here is kinda rush into the boss trap boss rush and see what we can get. So mom's knife is a pretty good thing to go into boss rush for speed of range up. Okay. We can take Mom's Knife in the boss rush. Kind of. He used to get the Judas boss rush. That'd be very nice. Ugh. What even blew me up there? That's my uh, creep. Oh, I should have used the Stars card like on this floor. I'll use it the next floor. It's not like it's going anywhere. Okay. This seems like the way to the boss. Man, I'm taking so much damage here. But luckily, I think it's not red heart damage. Actually, it doesn't matter for Judas. Okay, but I still can't pick up red hearts, so... I'm safe on that for now. Alright, that was a black heart, though. Okay. These guys aren't bad at all. In fact, that was incredibly easy. Hatchet boy. I mean, I'm going to get a bunch of money from this. Which is alright. Might be able to go justify going to my shop next floor. I mean, these are these are just nice to take. Okay. Dead cat. Oh my god, why didn't I take Guppy's tail? So I only had 2 HP before. So I'll just go... I'll safely go down to 1. Actually, no. Because I took down Guppy's head, I went down to 1, so Dead Cat was free. Okay. So, I really wish I took Guppy's tail. <laughs> but that's the nature of it. I don't know. And now I realize that I didn't actually lose 1 HP. Because it was a, a red chest, it wasn't actually like a thing. Oh well, hopefully we can use our damage to keep uh, the streak going. We have good damage right now. And we can use that to our advantage. And really offset our lack of health. For at least a little while. I mean, Judas doesn't have much health to begin with anyway. I'll pick this up. Use the Stellis card. Horus. It's a very nice one. So what that does is it lowers my speed, but then after a certain amount of time in a fight, like fighting in a room, I turn invincible and can deal melee damage to enemies, which is very nice with Mom's Knife. We're definitely going to blow this up. What is in here? The left hand. Only I'm taking Guppy's tail, though. Of course, that wouldn't be very good for finding more Guppy items. Because I already had enough. <laughs> what have we learned here? Always go for the gold. Get the, get the Guppy items, even if they're in a bad situation for you. Every time I, like, go for the gold on Guppy, I never get it. But every time I, like, miss out on just one thing because I want to make, like, a smarter choice, Guppy's like, no, I'm actually, the rest of me is right here. I have every item available. And I would really not like to die, even though I, I have the cat. Oh, this is the effect of Taurus. Alright. 
I think I'm gonna value Red Chest a bit more because I just feel bad about not getting Guppy there. Alright, we'll blow this up. I don't know what type of havoc that's going to Oh my god! Well, we found this. And I took damage for it. Free red chest. Ah, uh, Spirit Heart's alright. That was a nice use of a bomb. Where is this gonna put me? Judgment card. Gotta go to the shop now. Alright, Nun's Habit. I don't know if I really want. Locked down. Why did I buy that? I'll do it a little bit. I don't know, nuts having on Book of Belial doesn't seem as amazing as it, as it like, could be. Although Guppy's tail would seem pretty amazing. That's always just like an like, awful thing to, to get. It's like the one time you don't go for the for the long shot. The game just F's you. Okay. Judgment card? Maybe judgment would give us something cool. Chaos card. That's a cool card. Half a heart's alright. And HP up is nice. The bloat. So if I hated pin, I hate the bloat even more. Still awful. Not getting oh wait, I can still get deal with devil because I have Yeah. Oh, brimstone mom's knife. And the nail. Double bombs, of course. So we'll take this and die. And the nails are is like a it's like a thing that I'm trying to figure out what words I'm trying to say. The nail is a an active item, so I really don't need it. Oh, I actually did go to the, the treasure room. Yeah, I remember now. So we'll just go down. I feel like trading a life there for brimstone was pretty worth it. I just need to really focus on health now and not dying. That's not a good start to not dying. Let's see if we can get some skulls out of this. Make some hearts out of these skulls. Okay. Stars card. Empress card. Cast card. I do want the stars card. Spider baby. Spider revenge. I mean, revenge isn't exactly a good thing in any of my items because I don't want to take the one damage. Alright, he's done for. Boop. Boop. We have pretty good melee damage. And actually kind of okay range damage thanks to Brimstone Mom's knife. This is an amazing combo. Oh. Although if I was Guppy here, that would be so much better. Alright, I don't want to walk on this. We'll blow this up. Just a chance at a Guppy's hairball. I want it so badly now. The game's just not going to give it to me, though. It knows what it's done. It knows how I feel. I don't know if I've shown Brimstone Mom's knife on a camera before, but I, I do really enjoy it. That's an iPhone pills. Yeah. Actually, I'm thinking at this point I'll take the Spirit Heart, to be honest. It's pretty good. I think it's the more you move, Taurus charges up more. Actually, I can get that. Boop. Wow, oh, Taurus is so useful. Boop. There we go. Book up a Lyle. Yeah, Mom's Knife is very good on Red Mom. So we're going down to the Dark Room to fight the Lamb. What's in here? Krampus. Lump of coal, please? 
Ah, uh, that level cool. Let's see what's in Bosch Rush. Anything cool? Unicorn Horn. I don't think so. Scorpio's just Poison Tears. I don't think so. Maybe we can get more health there? I need to do it anyway with Judas. And I'll take the Poison Tears. Come on, just die. There we go. Hopefully I can drop more Spirit Hearts out of this. I do want to kill the the Carrion Queen, which is the big, like, chub monster first. Like, as soon as possible, because those poops are so bad. Did she poop yet? Oh, I really should have, like, saved up a Book of Belial charge before I did this. I can just kill Pete from way over this wall, though. Oh, the eye hit me. Not good. Duke of Flies will be okay. And even if I die, I lost one life for a for like a sp an item here, so that's nice. All right, we can deal with these guys. Little low keys over there. And these knives are very helpful, though. Just the two Gem Geminites now. The Gemini twins. I'm aware of the redundancy in that statement. Also, I have little Steven. <laughs> so I have to fight those guys again. Alright, Fistula and... Okay, this bomb fly has to get out of here. Fistula and Larry Jr. Wow. This is Chad. One of my favorite bosses. I love Chad. Where did that bomb fly come from? Has he just been flying around this entire time? Yeah. Okay, Chad. Okay. I would enjoy having, like, one spirit heart drop. That would be very helpful. Yeah, a lot of these boss rushes are like hide behind stuff. As much as possible. Pin? Not too bad. There he goes. And the hollow is a pretty simple boss. Along with the husk. How much? Look at how little health the Hollow has. Okay, the Bloat is like the one boss I hate the most. It's like Peep, but just everything worse about Peep. I was concerned about being in a half a heart there, but I actually could just pick up more red hearts that are all over the floor. Let's shoot this guy from way over here. Get war out of here. Where are you, Death? There you are. Oh, I died! Huh. Well, that's that done with. I was hoping to get the extra item out of it. Maybe I should have picked up that spirit heart, but I didn't think I'd just take one heart of damage out of nowhere. This isn't going to go too well, I don't think. But I'll continue to be hopeful. I'm not going to dwell anymore on not taking Guppy's Tail, and I'm not going to take Guppy's Tail, like, later on, just because I've had this one run that punished me for not taking Guppy's Tail. I'm pretty sure that's the game legitimately, like, realizing the decision I made, and then <laughs> making, and then, like, making me feel bad about it. 
Taurus is nice, though. Range down. I don't think I want that. <laughs> Can't imagine that I want it. Guppy's paw! <gasps> it's so useful. So now I'm Guppy. Wow, I can't actually believe I got Guppy's paw. After all that, like, talk of, like, how I traded everything away. And didn't get my chance that I that I needed. I missed my one chance to blow. And this opportunity only comes once in a lifetime. And then it happened again. I'm so excited. So the flies are nice. I think I need to actually, like, hit him more with my normal knife if I want to get the flies, though. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. In trouble with his multiple body segments. Can't handle it. So I don't have any real hearts now. But on the plus side, I have a ton of- I have like, more damage than is imaginable. Along with the Taurus effect. I don't need this. I don't need this. Got him. Oop. I don't really need more speed. The left hand probably did a little bit for getting me, like, Guppy's paw. See, I, I had it all planned out, guys. It was just a delayed Guppy pickup, because I didn't want Guppy's tail. They knew it would be bad for me. So I've waited until I knew that I'd get Guppy's paw. I'm really good at this video game, I swear. Oop. Oh, that really- that curse room I'm really good at- or the boss trap room I'm really glad I went to. Hangman. Well, I need that more than a range down pill, I'll say that much. I don't think I can get BHE anymore. So there's like no way for me to make these pills any better. So many keys now. I talked about not having keys, and now I just have way too many. There's Pokemon. So many keys. What happened? Mom's Pearl, I'll take that. These guys aren't so bad. Yeah. So I'll totally take that. Converted more soul hearts. Actually, I'll convert. <laughs> I'll use this. This is the better Guppy's paw. Instead of one heart for three spirit hearts, so it's one heart for three black hearts. That's a good trade. I don't like this room too much. But then again, I can just hide over here. And these guys can just come to me. I have the Taurus effect now. And this guy can't... Oh, yeah, I was about to say he can't really hurt me, and then I just almost walked into him. These guys can't hurt me. And now they can't. Let's see what's in here. I'm not doing that for one chest. Look, I'll take it for one red chest sometimes, when I'm desperate to become Guppy. Besides that, no thanks. Kill all these guys in one hit now. It's kind of our goal, is just fly around, do as much damage with the brimstone knives as we can, get Taurus, and then really, like, shake things up. Okay. That worked very well. I even got the hangman back, which I didn't really need. You can use the Taurus effect. Oh, okay. I don't know why I really went in there. Like, what was I planning on getting? I guess I was like, oh, I have in invincibility, so I should go in, but I can already fly, so... There's no real point. The problem with Book of Belial is secondary... power, which is getting me deals with the devil, is it really gonna work from this part of the game on anymore? Range down. I mean, I, we could use explosive diarrhea more than we can use a range down uphill. 
or any of this other stuff. Alright, now you guys can touch us like we wanted to. Taurus is so good, man. Like, for the speed downgrade, the, the amount that it gives for you. It's just so worth it. Free penny. Made a lot of risks on this run, but I feel like it's starting to come together a little bit. The Taurus invincibility with Mom's Knife and Brimstone is nice. I can kind of keep myself safe in a corner, shooting Brimstone knives. And then really go in for, like, super damage when I've got my Taurus ability. Come on. There we go. Just kind of hoping for special items. None. No current uh, payouts from... From Mom's Pearl. I'll blow this up. Why not? Just in hope. There we go. And we'll just stab her. So we're going down to the dark room. We have Mom's Pearl. Oh, this is Shoal. We're not going down the dark room just yet. Okay. Not my best room. That one also wasn't. And these rooms are really messing with me. Boop. I like the enemies that I can like have a bit more time to react to. Like this famine is very nice to fight. I can like get the Taurus in there. Those rooms aren't so bad after the start gets sorted out. I don't know, I'm just blowing this door up. I'm leaving this room and not coming back. I'm fine with that. I should really blow these up for some chances of spirit hearts. Like one spirit heart would be worth it. It's one spirit heart, I'll take it. To really use the HP. Really? Anything awesome in here? I think this will be worth it. Oh, it could be worth it. I think I got a key back. So just traded, like, nothing. Just for the privilege of fighting these bosses. There's so many monstros. Four monstros. Although adding more monstros doesn't necessarily make it more difficult. It just kind of makes it more tedious in a way. So many hearts. If I had, like, Dark Bum or something, this would be a one run in, like, a second. Of course, you could say that Dark Bum could win a lot of runs. Like, any run that you feel confident about your, your like, damage in any sort of way. It's really good just to have Dark Bum with you. Oh, I meant to use Explosive Diarrhea there. Okay. Get this to maybe pay out. And blow it up. Maybe it had a chance at a spirit heart, I don't know. Again, my confidence is a little bit going away here. That was nice, though. Oh, I can throw diagonally, apparently. A quarter. All the fires out. Oop. Got him. This room is very nice. I just wish I could find a judgment card or something. Okay. Where is Satan, man? Oh, there he is. There we go. And we'll just go fight Satan. So we can just quickly kill the Fallen. Is 
So now he's dead that way. And we won. So that's that done with. Time to go down to the dark room, and I'm gonna really need some hope here. Cause I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't have I don't think two health is enough to beat the lamb even with mom's knife brimstone. And I kind of you kind of expect the bombs to happen. Here's up. So we got one HP out of that and a slight tears upgrade. It's like the cancels out. The one the up is in the downs, I believe. Cancel like will bring me with a slight positive. And I immediately lost the spirit heart I got. Oh, I got another one. That's alright. Okay. I just kind of have to, like, travel around and hope that I find the lamb really quickly. Oh, I have, uh, Taurus. I always forget about Taurus. There's Taurus again. Terra card. Suicide King. Death card. As much as I think that this might be a bad idea, we're taking Suicide King with us. Like, Suicide King can really help us turn this game around, maybe. So I think we want to use the Spirit Hearts we have right now, and then use Suicide King later to kill ourselves before we fight the Lamb, and then go in with, like, a full, a fully charged, like, we got everything we can possibly have at our disposal. Like, maybe Suicide King gives us, like, an HP upgrade or something, something we can use. These guys, though, are not fun. They're instant laser beam attack. Alright, I will just get myself out of here. Okay, I'll just... just leave. So, we'll, now we'll just work on finding the lamb. A little bit of a frame drop there. This boss isn't particularly hard in, like, ones, so twos isn't bad either. What is up with my frames? I doesn't really like the, uh, the unicorn horn effect. So, the best I could hope out of this, I guess, is more bombs, but maybe they pair it with, like, a spirit heart or something because of Mom's Pearl. Which a spirit heart would be very nice. Although I wasn't going to fight the adversary twice. I'm fine with just never... Or three times there was. Alright, so no real payout. The lamb has to be somewhere around here. I'm glad I actually picked up Suicide King as well. I'm glad I did the, the Suicide King thing so I can get the Suicide King card. I know a lot of times I don't like use it, but it's still nice to have. In like the scenarios that you ha are like Lazarus or something and you can make use of the resurrection. Alright, I'm making it I'm making a chance choice here. Oh, I can't actually blow my way through doors in this land. Come on. What is up with the frame right here? The dark room is just like so intensive or something. Darklings. Yeah, I really don't know what's going on here. I've been in the dark room before. I've never had something like this happen. And it was not good to go here. Whew. This is going to be really hard to fight the lamb if it's the whole fight's going to be like this. Oh my god. What is up with the frames? We gotta, we gotta work through it. I don't know. Let's turn the gamma back down. To like the maybe this will magically help fix it. Nope, still pretty laggy. Ah, kind of helped. Oh wow, Taurus just saved me like right there. Steam sale, thank you. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it might be like my familiars in combination with this room or this part of the game. I really just want to find the lamb. The sooner I can end this, the sooner it could just be fixed. Oh my god. Oh, there's the lamb room. 
So what we have to do is fight these two wars in incredibly slow, altering motion. Jesus, the frame rate's dropping down to like four. Alright. One quick stop. God, this is not working. Game? Oh well, I just used Book of Belial by accident. Oh my god, we're finally back. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I killed the wars. I'm using Suicide King. Alright. Oh god, we have to fight these guys? Do I have to go back into here? Okay. So. We got all this stuff. One more Spirit Heart. Taking Book of Belial. And now we're going to see if we can somehow do this. Oh, got this. This is very good. Come on, Lamb. I really need to beat you as Lazarus. I already beat the boss rush. Oh, I didn't even beat the boss rush. Oh, we did it! Oh, Jesus, that was so much of a problem. And I got the curve form, which is the thing I was looking for, and I even forgot that I needed to get. This is just the missing one again. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. This amount of technical difficulties to get to that ending. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully with less technical errors.